Welcome to part 3 of my Western Roman Empire campaign. It's a difficult time for the Western Roman Empire. The internal political situation threatens to tear the empire to pieces. And there are peasant uprisings demanding independence. The only salvation now is to resolve the internal conflicts and thus stabilize the empire again. Moreover, the peasant uprisings must be put down to prevent further conflicts. So welcome to Crusader Kings 3, The Fallen Eagle. The first imperial law is as good as lost. And at the same time, a peasant uprising has risen. Because I now had to use my army to defeat the peasant uprising, I got considerably less gold and so I set my priorities on the other two imperial laws, as they would still bring me strong advantages in the future. And as long as only one law fails, I can still tank it. And so I first devoted myself to the peasant uprising. And at the same time, I waited for the failure of the first imperial law. In the fight against the peasant uprising, I was able to quickly gain the upper hand, thanks to my elite troops. It was only a little difficult to capture their leader, and so the war took a long time. But little by little, I had defended almost all the armies. But in the meantime, so much time had passed, that I was surprised that the imperial law had not failed yet. And so, I wanted to see how the political law stood. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, guys. I just oh my god that was so close like that was so close i never oh my god i never thought that i would make it well as you can see it actually happened i managed to fulfill the diplomatic laws after all i must say that i never thought i would be able to save the diplo law i i just don't know but i never thought i would do it but now that the imperial laws are secured for the time being, I will take care of the rest of the peasant uprising. And after two short battles, I had already won the war. Now the worst was over for the time being. Nevertheless, I wanted to make sure that the bars really moved upwards. And so, for the time being, I continued influencing vassals and build buildings. All the bars of the imperial laws rose again. For the first time in this campaign, I had the time to take things a little easier. Nevertheless, I did not want to wage any wars for the time being. I wanted to take full care of the imperial laws first. Besides, my vassals liked me more and more. The Western Roman Empire slowly began to rise again from the ashes. Time passed and I continued to build buildings and try to improve people's opinion of me. Sometimes I also helped my allies with wars. And as long as I made sure that my army did not fall below 3000 soldiers, everything was fine. And I even had to help the Eastern Roman Empire in a war against the Visigoths. <laughs> But the most important thing of all is that the Western Roman Empire is now finally moving up again. And if it continues like this, the first wars of expansion will soon begin.